everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you and uh, today I want to do something different. I want to make something for myself and what I want to make is a little book that I will be able to keep my quotes in. I keep printing quotes from um, that I find online um, like this one that I've used and after I've used them then I either put them on, on whatever I'm making or they get kind of tossed aside and so I thought maybe if I made myself a own my own little book I could put those quotes in and then um, when I'm doing my soul book I could go through this and have some ideas because I, when I'm creating I'm not next to my computer all the time or next to my tablet so this would be a great idea now I've pulled out some dilution paint paints that I haven't played with in a while uh, some BB wipes and I've got this beautiful deli paper that was uh, given to me gifted to me by uh, Diane and I thought this would be perfect for the inside so I'll do that for the inside and for the outside I'm going to do the painting now I also have this this uh, stencil from recollection that I've never used uh, I got it recently actually so I, I'm thinking that I love this it says change is beautiful and I am changing right now so that's what I'm thinking of putting on top of this book okay so I want this to be the back well this is gonna be the front but hopefully we'll cover a big chunk of it so I've pulled out turquoise I love that paint I just think it's so pretty some pink And some purple. So let's start with the turquoise. Kind of fun painting with your fingers, or in this case, baby wipe, but it's still the same. It's your kind of your fingers because anyway your fingers get messy in the process I love those colors love them Only a bit of pink. So it's a fast project. And I'm not going to be making the um, the signature with you guys. I'm going to be making the signature uh, on my own. And after that, I can uh, share with you what my project ended up looking like once it's all finished. And I have some quotes in it. Um, hopefully, it's going to make my own little quote book. And it's using junk so I love that and as you know I've got tons of envelopes so I need to use them and the white ones I find are harder to use because well there's not not as much I, I think anyway that I can do with them okay so I'm just gonna get a feel of how, where it's gonna okay so I want to put a bit of liquid text because I want to put a bit of, of um, book paper my paint had all kinds of little uh,
here's a bit of leftover paper from another project and it's it was gifted to me by Paula and uh, no no not Paula it's gifted to me from uh, I can see her Facebook Carmen like and uh, I think we had done a swap I'm not sure and I want to hide that little logo so put that on there Got enough of that. Turn this off a bit. that um I do a bit of stamping maybe just a tad just for the fun of it let's go for it. some stamps this time Got. And as you can see, I didn't even finish opening it up. I've used the stencil, however, I believe. At least I believe I did. So, I'm thinking numbers. Just because it's going to be letters inside. Kind of cool too. Numbers on here. my Pancharella in a while so how about using that if I can find it I can't find it but I have other ones a bunch this was gifted to me by uh, my stepmom I 
And as you know, I love my tins. I use them all the time. All the time. Okay, so let's use that. Need a bit of white paint. Just a bit. It's not opaque enough. That's okay because I've got the the Liquitex on top, so I can easily wipe it clean. It's still a mess. Oh my god! Okay, let's. It's better. that. Use the leftover paint. Not that there's that much, but still, whatever is left, I want to waste it. I'm thinking actually that I'm gonna put a coat of uh, varnish on top of this before I do anything else. Because I'm afraid once I've done uh, the sentiment, if, if it goes like it just did, uh, I might need to wipe it. And I don't want to wipe the white dots that I've just made, as well as the, uh, as the stamping. more than I wanted, but that's okay. It's all good. It's supposed to be no stress, this thing, so... I really do love my container, my uh, glasses with uh, the fake ice in them. Keeps my water cold. Love it. Love it. Oh, it's still a bit wet. This is one of those stick-ons. 
here. And uh, the cheap black paint, but I know this will work. Got a thinking I should use a brush instead, it might be easier. This, these are tiny sp little spots, and needs to get into those spots. And I'm doing it like that because I'm hoping it's not going to leak under it, under the, the stencil. So let's see. Yeesh. That's why I did this because I wanted it to. Uh, I didn't want it to uh, to be wet. If uh, I wanted to be able to wipe it, should I need to? And obviously, I did. again. That's even worse. Okay. Oh.
Okay, so what do I do now as another plan? Because obviously it didn't work with this. I'm thinking that maybe I can just go with a, a pen instead of paint. Maybe I'll have more chance because I'll be just tracing. So let's try that instead. When one thing doesn't work, go for something else. So I've got some sh black Sharpie pen. So I'm thinking that this should be permanent. Okay, usually my Sharpies will write on top of Liquitex, but this one doesn't seem to want to. No, it really doesn't want to. That's okay, I've got my shoot pen. You should want, this should work. This usually works on everything. now that I want it to stick. It's not sticking. Moving again. Okay. So it's not perfect, but nothing is, and I kind of like it. So this will be enough. Now I'm wondering if it's going to stick. Yeah, it still sticks on the, the little sheet, so that's a good thing. I'll put it back to, to where it's supposed to go. That was a lot more difficult than I expected. And my hands are a lot more dirty from that process. Okay, so put this aside. Use the rest of the paint. Where am I now? Use the rest of that paint here. Do you guys believe I'll eventually finish this book? This is my font book. Funk, uh, font uh, junk journal. I'm never finishing it, so. Okay, so this is that sign. So, just flip it over. Uh, need to put a clean sheet underneath just in case it's not completely dry and now all I need to do is I really like that part of it even more than this part so this is the part that I want to stick down so let's 
but I want to cover the whole thing. So I'm thinking we uh, put this on there. I'm going to use my glue stick to uh, give me a chance to move it around should I need to. And I doubled up my envelope because I wanted it more sturdy. If you just do one layer, it's, well, it's actually two layers of paper, but it's just paper. And I find that it's not as uh, sturdy as when you do it this way. So by uh, doubling it up, so it makes four layers plus the, um, the stitching makes it strong, so it works out good. Oh, making a mess. Ah. Uh, okay, so put some glue. Get some of the glue stick on top of this just to give me some extra to wiggle room because Suquan tape is amazing but once you've put it down you've put it down you cannot move it whereas with a bit of glue like this I can I can kind of shift it should I need to like here in the little corner not quite covered at the bottom. Oh, now I'm not covering at the top. So see if I hadn't put the the glue I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay, so now I'm covering the entire thing. And I can just cut around this. use some of that as a background to something else. Maybe some journaling out of the box would be cool because it would be uh, a background really easily made. For those times when I don't want to spend too much time. So this is it. This is the beautiful inside. I love I love this paper. Beautiful. And this is my cover. So change is beautiful. And the back. So I'll be making uh, this and um, and then I'll share with you guys uh, how the finished book looks. Hopefully uh, it's going to inspire you to do something similar. So if you like this, please do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments down below. I love reading them. And subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, folks.